Hi everybody! A commission today, kind of a big project. Well, not big, just, you know, experimental. <laughs> I am doing, this lady has a window that she wants kind of a, a, win, a covering in the window. It's on, on top of a door. I was going to do for her, and initially she wanted like yellow and gray flowers. But then she was in chatting about it, giving me the measurements, and she saw this painting here. Oh, eat up. See it. This one, and she said, Oh, I like that swoop idea, different colors, but she wants so now she would like a swoop. So I'm going to do it kind of, you know, like sort of a, a geode type swoop thingy. And she wants white and gray, so I'm use, I'm going to use like white and silver ish, you know, because I don't think gray would look very good. It, you know, silver is kind of gray, so um, and then she wants some areas to be clear. clear somebody was coming in clear um, and what I'm going to do with the clear ones I'm going to put I'm going to put these in I might leave a, a few little strips of clear but I'm just worried you know the resin won't look that good if it's just clear so I'll put you know I'll kind of put little bits of clear but I'm going to put some of the glass beads and then I've got some of this crushed kind of gray silvery glass so I'll put that in what I did here, I've got a board, a fairly heavy piece of plywood that happens to be the right measurement. So what I did is I put down some cellophane on top of that and I did um, a bead of um, silicone around to match the measurements of the window that she gave me. So that should kind of keep, you know, keep it roughly the right size. So these, some of these things are experimental, I gotta say. The other thing I want to do, because the cellophane works nice, it gives a nice shiny finish, but sometimes it sticks. Sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it does. So I'm going to try something I've never done before. I hope it's okay. I'm going to coat this. I can do that now. With, I'm just going to put a little bit of this um, coconut milk oil that you know you do use for cells. Oh, I hope this isn't a mistake. And I'm just going to put a light layer of that all around this. And I'm hoping that the effect will be that this cellophane won't stick. It doesn't matter that much if it sticks because it's clear. You don't see it, but it bugs me. <laughs> I know it's there. So I'm going to try this. It smells nice, so that's a bonus. So that's what I'm going to do. And hopefully that will help it not to stick and hopefully it won't have any uh, adverse effect on the resin but I will see and so will you <laughs> yeah I don't think that's gonna hurt it and it, I think it'll accomplish what I'm at whoops what I'm after there's so little of it it's just a really light film so that little hair get that in now Yeah, it does smell really nice. <laughs> that was a bit of a glob there. Okay, so I'm going to go away and mix up the resin. And then we'll get started on this. I have to think a little bit. I was trying to think. I probably should have drawn it on the, on the board. What my design's going to be. But I haven't, you know, I have a rough idea of what I want. And I'll, uh. You know, we'll create as we go. Okay, I'll be back with my resin mix. I use Magic Resin. Um, I find it's a good, you know, good quality and it's a much better price than a lot of them. And works good. So that's what I get. You can get it from Amazon or you can get it directly from Magic Resin. And they have a good bonus, you know, uh, points program as well. So you can get some free resin. Make sure my board is level. Might have to play with that a little bit. And okay, I'll be back once my resin is all mixed. Okay, I just thought I'd show you this, just in case you know you haven't done this before. So it's it's winter, so it's a little bit cool. So what I do with my resin um, before I mix them together, I just put them. Oops, can't really see. Don't want to drip anything. I put the the two the the two parts of the resin in separate cups, 
and I put them in like a hot water bath just for about 10 minutes maybe because it helps with the bubbles um, when the resin's really cold you get a lot of bubbles in it so just heats it up a bit you don't want to overdo it because then your resin is going to set too fast you'll lose too much working time but this really helps it mixes better and it reduces the bubbles so that's what I do so then I carefully take these cups out because you do not want to get any water in your resin <laughs> they don't play nice together so I'll take those out and dry the bottoms off carefully I don't want any water drips in the resin and then I have a new container to mix my resin in I'm not going to put it down there because there's that oil on there so I pour the, uh, the thinner resin in first one is thicker than the other I don't know which is which in terms of what's resin and what's hardener but I always pour the thinner one in first so I'm gonna, can you see it still I put it down there and scrape it out of this cup really good Oops, what's on the outside of that cup? Ah, a little piece of wood shaving. Where did that come from? <laughs> so, get all this resin out. I'll probably reuse these cups when I mix the uh, colors back in. I'll get all this out though. I don't know if that, actually that might not be a good idea because I better use new cups because there might be residual resin in here that isn't mixed in, you know. So there's that one. And then I pour the other one, the thicker one, in second. Doesn't really matter, I don't think, but it just mixes better if you uh, put the thin one into the thick one. Oh, I see what's happening. I reuse a lot of my stuff. I wash everything and reuse my cups and everything. So I think there was some little gold flecks in these cups. I thought I got new ones for for this, but okay. All good. Get it all out. Okay. So that's that. And then I need to just mix it for three minutes. So yeah, looks good. So I'm just going to mix it, not really vigorously because you don't want to create any more bubbles than there's already going to be. So I'm just going to mix it back and forth there and keep scraping the sides. You, any, any kind of plastic container works fine, but just get one that doesn't have ridges in it so that the um, you know, individual components don't get uh, caught in the, in the you know, in, in indentations and that. So you want something with a smooth bottom and smooth sides so you can keep scraping your sides. So, and I'm going to do this for at least three minutes. I usually go four minutes just to make sure. Oh, tiny little bit of paint in there from my cup. That'll learn me. Okay, get rid of that now. Okay, so I'll be back in about four minutes. Okay, I think we're good. So I'm going to split the resin up into three cups. I want some white some silver and some clear. So, just going to split it up. It's going to have to work fairly quickly, I think, because um, because I don't, you know, I don't want it to start setting on me. Let's say that's clear. Should be good, and I'm just going to keep a little bit back. I always keep a little bit back in case you need to touch something up. Okay, here we go. So this can be my clear. And I'll put, I'm going to put some white pearl in here. I think that's what that is. Or is that silver? Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. Pearl X. It doesn't say. Macro pearl. Okay, so that should be the white. I want the white to be a little bit, a bit sparkly, a little bit pearly. So put that in there, and then a little bit of white paint. I should have mixed this up, paint up first. Hopefully, it's not going to give me grief. No, it looks good. 
That should be enough. You can use all, so many different things to tint your resin. Um, the, I think the, the most important thing is that never put more than 10% of pigment in with your resin. And I think that's kind of the rule of thumb in order to get the resin to cure properly. Oh, that looks nice. Okay, I'm going to hurry up a little bit here because I want to make sure. And I love this silver paint. It's a patio paint, but I, I really like it. Yeesh. So this is going to be, ooh, don't tell me I'm out. That would be a disaster. Come on. Come on. Hurry up. Maybe it's just the lid stuck. Oh yeah, that's what it is. Oh, let me get a popsicle stick and get some of that out. Looks like I'm running out. You can always tell your favorites because you run out so fast. Oh, there's a chunk. Don't want that. Hurry up, hurry up. I don't have time. Oop. There, that should be enough. I have to buy some more of that if I can find it. I'll mix that up. Ooh, pretty. I'm going to have to go a little bit quicker now. Okay, that looks great. Good, nothing's hardening yet. Okay, so what I want to do to start is I want to put, I would like to have around the outside some, some of these uh, glass stones, these crystally things. So let's start with that. Oh. Get that over there. I'm gonna have to be quick. Sloppy. And I can pour more resin on there later if I don't have enough. I'll probably put some of these in the middle too, so I better save some. So I'm just going to push that into the edges. Okay, that's good. That's all the time I'm going to spend on that right now. I can fiddle with it later. Okay, so now for my swoop. So, here I go. There's one part of it. Let's go right to the end here. I think I will do another bit there. Maybe a bit more down here. Kind of make that solid. Okay, that looks good. Make sure I'm giving myself enough time here to make all this come together. So let's try that and then let's do this silver now. So, did I already use, I used most of my clear, so I think I'll probably end up coming back and doing uh, the center, because I'm kind of out of the clear now. So I think I'll make this a bit thicker. Let's finish. 
fill that in. And I think I'm going to do some here. Let's do a bit more here. Let's do this thing. Let's fill that in a bit. Yeah, I'm going to be definitely coming back and doing, mixing more resin there. That all looks good. Yeah, I'm going to mix some more resin. So I'm going to now get the, the bubbles out, get some bubbles out. doesn't ignite. <laughs> oh, there's a little ripple in my page there, my paper. Hmm, I have to work on that little issue. Yeah, I see that tiny little ripple. Smallest little things, eh? You don't know if Okay, that's okay, I'm gonna add more resonance. So I'm gonna get my heat gun now and just kind of blend those layers a little bit. Oh, I wanna put some of this glass in. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it now. this clear space in the middle here it's already filling in a bit so Let's see if I can get bring that back a little bit that and I'm going to pour the rest of my little leftover resin on top of that so good kind of designing on the fly here but 
It's okay. So I'm gonna look and see who needs more resin. Spread now I can take a minute to spread it some of those beads better. And let's see if I got any areas that need a little bit of help. Ooh, it's kind of nice. This is an issue. I think I'm going to have to do something here to weigh this down. That's nice. And that solves that issue with that little bit of paper. Let's see if I got any more resin. A little bit. A little bit left pour on top of this. Nice thing too, when I do commissions, I, I never take money up front. And I always tell people, if you don't like it, you don't have to buy it and I'll just put it in my little shop or sell it to somebody else somebody it's actually the only one time a lady changed her mind because well just because she liked the piece but her she found out that her mother-in-law or her mother or somebody had plans to buy her a painting for that spot in her house so she changed her mind about buying it but I sold it the next day to somebody else so and you know, I just don't like to have pressure because that takes the fun away. So it's just the way I like to do it. I need some more. I think I'm going to put some more of those sparkles up there to fill that in a bit. Last bit of resin over there. And gray, gray and white seem to be the colors that everybody likes these days. So even if the lady doesn't like this, somebody will. Somebody will love it. Somebody always always speaks to somebody. make that go right over there. So now I'm just going to play a little bit and see if I want to change the design at all. Just spread out my little beady things. I don't know if I like those guys in there. Okay, I gotta go mix some more resin. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, we're ready with some more resin. So, um, better get a cup. Um, can I bend that cup a little? Nah, I'm not gonna take a chance on that. Okay, so. Basically what I'm going to do now with this resin, I'm just going to fill in, fill in the gaps. So we're going clear. Going clear there and in the middle here. Ooh. It's going to push the other resins down a bit, that's okay. Let's go here. How's that look? That's good, I think. So let's torch that a bit. I still have quite a bit of resin left, so maybe I can, I'll go once around the outside. 
Oops. Saved a little bit. I think I need a bit more here. I can always, uh, if I'm finding it's too thin, I will, um, oops, I'll uh, do another taco, you know, to just kind of, there's a tiny little sparkle on there. Cool. Okay, so I'm going to torch this. so I don't get resin all over my torch. Oh, my little, my um, cellophane, I taped it down, but it's kind of buckling a bit. That's annoying. Well, maybe I guess with the torching, that's why, that's why it's buckling. But I gotta get the bubbles out. I gotta get the bubbles out. I'm, I'm, I see some kind of little, well, actually I'm seeing some cells, and I think that might be my coconut oil, but it's okay, we'll see what it does. So there's a lot of clear area in the middle, which I know she wants some, but to me that's too much. So I have some stones I've been wanting to use. Here they are. I'm going to. Oh yeah, pretty. Nice. I'm waiting to find a project that these would look nice in. And I think I just found it. I'll have to move these around a bit. Nice. I think that's perfect. I like it. I'm going to put another layer of them here. Yeah, I think I'm definitely going to end up doing a top coat on this. Maybe get under there. And over there. Um, especially now that I'm adding these extra stones, I'm going to have to do a top coat on, which is fine. Everything's fine. Oops, get back here, get back here. Go to your designated area. Oh yeah, I love that. a little more organized. Beautiful. I kind of hope she doesn't want it. <laughs> I want it. Ah, oh, I love it. That's good. She did say she wanted a little bit of gold in it, so I'm thinking that's what I'll do with, you know, how they, you have those, just do lines, you know, on geodes. I'll do just a little bit of that. Okay, so we are going to let this set and we'll see what we end up with tomorrow. I might just fuss a little bit. Moving the stones around. I'm kind of thinking I might want. I think I want. A little layer of these in. Oops, not that much. Where are we going with 
this. We'll go right to the end. Perfect. There's a big clump of them there. Let's move those down. Okay, we're going to see what this looks like tomorrow. Alrighty, so it's the next day and it looks good, but my oil idea, my coconut oil idea, even though it smelled nice, it didn't work. Well, I don't know if the thing's going to stick yet, but it's all um, kind of, I don't know if you can see, see that? It kind of just is sitting on top of the surface, which is fine. It's not going to hurt it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take it up from the board. I'll have to undo yeah, I'll have to un untape it and everything. Ooh, I can't wait to see. I think it's going to be cool. I think it's turned out good. Um, and I'm going to probably kind of wash it with alcohol and then, you know, soapy water because I've got to get all of that um, coconut oil off. And then I'm, I don't think I'm going to add anything to it. Maybe those gold lines. But anyway, I'm going to get it all washed off first. And then uh, probably tomorrow, I'm going to think about it tonight, see what I want to do. I might, you know, I might get the lady in to see if she really wants those gold lines in. Because I don't know, I'm not sure. Anyway, so that's where we're at now. Alrighty, so I wiped it. Oh, this thing's in the way. Ah, don't drop my camera. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, so I, what I did is I, well, first of all, I wiped it down with alcohol. Is that still some, yeah, there's still a little bit. And then I um, got some soapy, some Dawn soap, soap and water and wiped it all down. And it's, I think I got it all. So I've got, um, how many ounces is that? 10 ounces of resin. So I'm going to do like another coat. And I think I'm going to add a bit more, like there's a few little things I don't like. There's one little sparkle or one of those pieces of, you know, mirror, crushed glass that landed right in the middle of that clear spot. And I don't like that. So I'll probably just do a thin line of these crystals through there. Probably end up dropping another weird one. But anyway, I'll keep an eye on it. And this down here I'm not crazy about, so I'm probably going to add some more sparkles there. So I'm going to start by just doing another coat. I don't know if I need to go over the edges. I'll probably just be kind of spreading this coat around. I'll probably just rub it with my fingers over the edges because I don't think I need any more on the edges. We shall see. Putting it all in. And I'm just going to spread it around. I should have checked to make sure this is level. Oops, not quite. Stick something underneath there. Oh, I think I need a couple of popsicle sticks. Just keep popping up a little bit. Whoa. I should have done this before. Come on, get under there. Okay, I think that's better. I'll have to check it before I shut her down. And I'm not going to put those that gold in there. I, I just have a feeling it might wreck it. So I will do this. And then I'm going to have the lady come in and see what she thinks. And I'll maybe do a little test on another piece of what those gold lines would look like and then let her decide if she wants me to add them because I kind of think it's nice the way it is. So it's one of those things, it's personal preference. Okay, so I just want to make sure I'm getting spread out everywhere. Over there. There's also what I was afraid of with the the clear. There's a little strip of bubbles there. So I'll probably put some of that crushed glass there. I mean, you know, it's the kind of thing no one is ever going to see, but 
I don't know what's there. Just want to make sure I get everything covered. Get in all those crevices. Okay, I think that's got it pretty good. Don't take me in. Like wasting any resin. <laughs> Scrape it off. I'm gonna have to take this glove off because if I want to be able to spread those sparkly guys properly, and this time I don't want to. Whoa! I <laughs> almost dumped the whole thing. I don't want to spread any. I don't want any odd, you know, stray ones. Kind of. Oh, that one's got like a little paper backing if that is okay so first thing I want to do is just a little bit of a just a little kind of thingy there there that's good just a little I don't know what you call it. <laughs> Thingy. <laughs> you know. Get some more of these. Now, here's where I want to do that. Kind of a thin line. Starting here. And I want to go right over where that one... I can move these, get them in a nice straighter line. There we go. Covered up that one little guy that. And I'm just going to bring it right over to there. I'll play with that a bit to get a nice, pleasing swoop. That's good there. And then there was something else. So I wanted to put a bit more up here. And then there was those bubbles. Yep, I'm covering them. I don't want to see any bubbles. And that can just kind of end. That's okay. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm going to coat these with resin a bit. Maybe put a few more down there. Oh, I see some spots where the resin isn't covering. So there may be some spots where the um, there's just a little bit of that residual gold darn coconut oil. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> that piece of that cellophane on the bottom better not stick all that. Okay, I'm going to torch it. Yeah, there's a few spots where there must have been a tiny little bit of residual oil there, so I'm going to have to keep an eye on that. Yeah, right there. Or maybe I just didn't quite spread it good enough. I'll keep an eye on it, make sure it doesn't make a pit. I find if that you that does happen, if you keep babysitting it, you know, and it, the, the resin keeps coming away from it, if you keep kind of pushing it over it, sooner or later it gives up the fight and the resin will, will stay on, on top of it if you have a little spot. You just have to watch it, you know, for about an hour until it's uh, set enough that it's not going to pull away from... from the, you know, you know what I mean. Ah, I'm liking this. Okay, so that's it. So tomorrow... Uh, when it's all set, I'll come back and I'll show you 
I might move a few of these little stones and things around a bit, but uh, I think we're almost done. It's the next morning. I always love it when I've got a resin project in the go. Coming in the, in the next morning to see it. You, you know, get you out of bed in the morning. Oh, don't tell me it's stuck again. It kept sticking. Just there's one spot there. Maybe if I just twist it. Come on, let go. <laughs> there's something on the... That's so weird. There's one little spot. Yesterday I had to heat up my knife and stick it under, so I don't know why. Maybe it's a stone that's gone right through to the back or something. I'm going to heat this up. There we go. Until it turns red. And then stick it under and see what is sticking there. There's just a little spot. There we go. Ah, it's the weirdest thing. Okay, here we go. Yeah. So now what I have to, oh, look how easy it comes off. And the paper is not sticking, I don't think. Oh, that's nice. I was worried I would have a little bit of trouble getting that off, but it's coming off nice and clean. Yeah, that's my favorite thing with, one of my favorite things, working with resin. It's still sticking a bit, that paper, after all my troubles. Um, you, you know, you do have to, you have to wait until it cures, but it's so fun to come in and demold things. And Yeah, that paper, that gold arm paper is still sticking. Sharon Lindley uses, to pour her resin on, um, some a foil. It looks like a like a holographic foil wrapping paper. So I just sent my husband on an errand to go and see if he can find some of that. That's always a problem. What to pour on that both gives you a nice, smooth, shiny surface, but um, doesn't stick. You know. It's a struggle, but Sharon Lindley seems to have found a solution. I just have to see if I can find that. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get all that paper off. Like I say, you won't see it, but it just bugs me. Let's see how much of it I can get off. I'm a little bit patient. I haven't ripped it yet there. really want it to come off. I could theoretically, you can kind of burn it off a bit, but yeah, so I'm going to be patient and get as much of it off as I can, and then I'll come back and show you. Okay, I got everything off, got all the paper off. Can you see? I think it turned out nice. I think it'll be nice over the window. So I'm just, the only thing I've left to do, I, um, I'm going to wait for the lady to come and check and see which way she wants to hang it. Because either way, you know, that's just kind of a personal choice. It can go either way. And then she gave me some little clips that she wants me to put on. So I'm going to see if I can get those on. And then I'm just going to go around. There's a couple little bit jagged edges there. I'm going to get with my, um, my X-Acto knife, heat up the blade there and just go around and smooth out the edges and then it's all done. I almost hope she doesn't like it, I want it. <laughs> okay, there we go. On to the next thing. All done. She came by and she likes it. We decided which way she wanted to hang it. So it's gonna hang in a window, like a window that's that shape above the door. It turned out nice. I did not put the gold lines that I was talking about, and she agreed. She said it would kind of like it, make it look a little bit, I don't know, tacky. So there it is. I got to make more of those. I want one. <laughs>